So, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. And many of you are going to be wondering, bro, what the freak is this? Okay, so this is Football Master 2, which we are comparing with SM, you know, Soccer Manager 25. So, um, you could already say, um, through this. So, we're going to be talking a bit different of both games, how it is, how we do that transfer negotiation everything and everything but the thing is i'm a i'm actually the manager in both games so it's actually not easy to like being a manager but the fun part about this one is it has different kinds of mood to play yeah in other one we also have um you could say this moves here but it is not compared to this game we have the normal career league we have the classic relief we have the master league you know we have the tour the rank match and there are actually many more here we have tactics tests we have the cup we have the europe conquest global battle and top clubs challenge that is for that which is actually pretty interesting and we also have a lot of goodies Okay, so when we check here, we have free, um, actually not everything is actually free, but we have stuff to claim and to use and to purchase and, you know, many other more. What's, wait, what the hell is this? Ah, just like that. No, I don't need him. We have Schneider Park. We have this park where we could accumulate good keepers. We also have parks where we could accumulate good defenders. So, these are many, many interesting things in this game. So, this this is why if I'm going to rate, I think I'm going to rate this um Football Master 2 or Football Master generally compared to Soccer Manager 2025. I think I'm going to be rating this. We also have this mode. When you start the game new, it actually ends in seven days time. You have to claim, um, do everything possible for you to claim either Ronaldo or Messi. For me, I'm actually going for Messi. Yes, Ronaldo is my biggest fan, but I know what Messi can do in the game. It's not like I say about like Ronaldo or Messi is actually pretty great. Like I could literally compare this game to FIFA or PES, just that I don't play it with my hands. Okay, so the reason why is. This is Messi. We all know looking look at him looking so weird. I don't know if it's my network. I guess it's my network since I actually can't see his face probably will. So but now this is what I'm trying to say. We have this young Messi. Then we have Messi when he's actually a bit matured. And we have another Messi card when he's very, very matured. And we have another of his card when he played for PSG. So we have about four Lionel Messi cards here which makes it actually incredible so for the fact that messi played for only baka almost his entire career i think messi on is going to be a bit different to understand so now let's take a look at ronaldo when he was playing for manu when he was very young then you could see him playing for real madrid then you could see him playing for juventus and him also playing for manu before he went to al nasa but i don't know the al nasa card might be actually out just that i don't have him because for the fact i have um what was this guy's name okay so let's go to our develop um for the fact i have what's his name um big bands this is big bands and if we're gonna check at his no this is just how to use it oh, come on where the freak can i no this is not it okay but that is our Benzema. If we're going to check out our Benzema, he's from our Etihad. So, okay, I think there is one more way to confirm that. If I'm not guessing wrong. Um, I don't think he's actually here. Okay, yeah. He's actually here at the top club. We go to the prime. Click on the prime. Like, you could see these are like my legends here. So, this is... Benzema at our uh, Etihad here. So for the fact we could have Benzema for our uh, Etihad, could also have Inter Miami Messi, 
and Anasa Cristiano Ronaldo. Now when you check on other versions, we have Benzema country, which is France. We also have Benzema when he I think this was when he won the Ballon d'Or for Real Madrid. That season. And I think this is his normal base card for Real Madrid also. So you could say the clubs are written when he's actually club. But if it's a country, it doesn't really write anything when it has to do with the country or a special card. But either way, this is Big Benz. We all know Big Benz. It's actually pretty cool. Um, So that's, that's just it. Okay, let's check for Junior. My favorite character in any gameplay. If you don't see this guy in my team, just know um I don't I didn't use that same if you don't say Neymar Junior. So this is Neymar right over here. We also have different kinds of cards, but we are not talking about the cards, we are checking on comparison. So this alone actually made a very good touchdown beating SM manager 24. So now the only reason we have issue with our with this game is the scouting, like signing of players. You can't sign any player if you have a diamond or a, should I say, a voucher, like a card. Like, you literally can't sign any player without this card. And there are a lot of cool players right over here, guys. There are a lot of cool players. So, let's check on um, the cards currency. So, we have Van Dyke in the front. And we have many good cards, but it is what it is. And this is another place whereby the game is actually good. For each card signing, there is an update attached to it. So, like, if you confirm this update, you will notice we have Lami Yamal, we have Rodrigo, the Ballon d'Or winner, we have Harry Kane, which was one of the top players for the Ballon, and we also have Martinez, our favorite keeper from... Um, Aston Villa, um, Argentina, Arvada. and we also have Kylian Mbappe, which is another very good player, a top notch player, which many of us are actually hoping on getting. In either game, you always hope on getting Mbappe. So, right here, we have many players, but the reason the only issue here is you can't directly sign them to your team. And when you check on transfer markets, you notice some. Um, you need to have some, what is it called? Should I call it a diamond badge before you could actually sign anyone? Which makes it weird. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So, um, I think that's that for now. I think I'm going to be needing this serving hole in my team. Just to cover up. Okay. So, and when it comes to the game upgrade, like... There are a lot of ways to upgrade, to develop your players. But I haven't even unlocked everything. I'm still working on it. So that was an uh, interesting part of this game. So let's say, for instance, I want to make... um, Who should I use? Who should I use? Okay, let me make use of my keeper because I think for now he's actually the best keeper I, I have. So I have to activate my auto tap. If not, this takes tons and lots of time to upgrade it's it's really waste my time i just keep tapping blow am i playing blom game or whatever game is actually called in the telegram so i think for me this is the best way i upgrade i just activate my auto tab bring it up online um come online enter the game i click on it so when i'm done with that i go back and i go to the workout session I, I also use my auto tap in a workout session, guys. To be honest, I do use it. So um, let's make Gapu for example. I'll click here. I move it straight down here. And I click on activate. So I wouldn't have to bother myself anymore. But I guess we have to do only two. I guess we have to do only two. So, um, okay. I guess we're actually done. So that is that. And for the awakening, like it just have many modes of awakening. So I think the only thing SM25 used to kill this game, it's it's just the signing, which is very, very pretty cool, easy and awesome. That's one. And I think the other stuff SM used to uh okay, both of them have construction mode. 
Yeah, I forgot to talk about that. They both have construction mode. Yep. So I think another thing soccer manager use in having a better game start compared to this game is for the fact that you could actually um finish a season on that one hour when you're serious with the game. You actually finish a season on that one hour and move to the next season straight up, bro. Straight up. So aside from that, I think both games are actually pretty cool. Um, depends on your own choice of managing your game. So which game would you like to manage? Would you like to manage this game or you like to manage that game? And to be honest, guys, I'm going to be sincere with you guys. If you're playing this game, this game has an alliance mode, which is like a glid. We all know what glid does, you know, competing with other glids and stuff like that. So aside from that, aside from that, this game is actually pay to win. It's not a free game. You have to have ten times luck. You have to you have to get ten times lucky. Okay. For instance, let's go to the rank challenge mode. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna search for the top one. Okay, so this is the top one right over here. <clears throat> so this is the top one team right over here. I I guess actually not complete maybe because my phone is still loading. But okay, just take a look at these players. Look at the front, like Lewandowski having three star, Griezmann having three star, Gonzalo Ramos having two star. Okay, let's just name the players. Then we have Neymar, Danny Omo, Snyder, Jama Moisiela, Thomas Muller, Varane, Ibrahim Konate, and Oblak. Bro, if you take a look at all these guys, you should know that these guys, these guys are just legend. Now, let's go to the one that has Bellingham. Okay, now we have Harry Kane, Corey Skiala. Yami Yamao, Jid Beliang, Lucas Modric, Tony Cruz, Thomas Mula, Chilini, Bonucci, Delete, and Soma. Like, bro, what the freak? What the freak? Like, and if you look at their S, it's not just S plus, it is like, like when you're playing a Call of Duty mobile game where you have Mythic Gun, you can't compare a legendary gun to a Mythic Gun, bro. This is literally the worst. Like, this. This is actually the worst. This guy doesn't just went for having a legend, any legend, anything. He went for the top-notch young players. Like, bro, how would he be putting Lamy Yama and Moisiala in a freaking team with Haaland and Mbappe? You are killing me, bro. You are literally killing me. So that's that. So the next thing we're going to be checking is the gameplay challenge. So... Fun part about the gameplay challenge is, yo, am I really going up against Yamo? Ah, I'm not scared. So the gameplay mode is actually pretty awesome. It is very, very, very okay. It's very okay. Just that when you score a goal, you can't watch the replay, bro. I can't watch the replay. So this is just the way. Um, I feel like skipping it because. I don't know if I need it. I just feel like skipping it. So now this is the gameplay mode. You could actually the only thing you could change is your offense and your defense. Okay, right now it's saying poor. Let's say because the match actually just gets started. And this is my defense. This is the best defense I like using so far. I don't know. Uh so some point I like man to man, but um uh, let's just keep it this way. Let's just keep it that way. Um you could actually check what your opponent is using. And you saw it right at the top, so it is what it is. And you could make your substation. So this is substation um is actually pretty awesome also. Uh I think my players are very tired and I never knew of it. They are so tired. So I'm gonna make quick substation in the second half. And I think I've actually scored when I was talking about this substation. Just make a quick substation. Yep. Okay, I think I scored and I couldn't even check for the goal. Yeah, the main thing is I won. So what I was saying about this game is, even without me winning, one thing I like about the game is you could actually skip a match. A match that is actually on. You could literally skip that match. And they're going to make you understand the game so bad that you would you would really enjoy it. In, in a sense of, okay, let's go to this um championship blah 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 um let's start let's go against um 
which country i think this is monas uh, okay yeah let's just escape and let's see so we could reduce the time where they used to play you know the speed could actually increase it which is pretty awesome click here to check on your players stamina and stuff recover if you feel like i don't feel like okay so my attack is actually great yo Neymar, what a freak you you missed three shots right over there bro you saw that you you saw that but they don't show a replay yeah the celebration is quite all right the graphics and everything is very very good but they don't show a replay i've gone through the settings several times looking for replays i don't see any i don't okay so yeah that's another good yeah by couple and they do different skills for you to understand that they are different players yeah there are sometimes i see some player doing the same skills with another player yeah they do the, they do the same skills but it's quite different there is just that one stuff that is making it different so my defense is actually poor i don't know i'm gonna use a one-on-one -on -one. let's see how it goes okay um let's make a quick sub okay and he's done on offside yo modric keeps scoring like yo this guy is a beast you say he's doing another skills so this alone should make you understand that this game is highway standard like i could literally compare it to pairs like eFootball and fifa but it says manager mode we don't have manager mode in eFootball or fifa so that's just the different that's just the different so either way yo that's neymar jr for you guys <laughs> samba mode was activated so i guess that's all i have to say about um the master what is it called again yeah i won i won so that's all and let's move on to soccer manager 25 and let's see how it goes yeah i actually ranked up so you actually even ranked up in this game. I forgot to say that earlier. You ranked up and makes your team looks much more stronger. You know, it's actually pretty interesting. And they give you a chance to communicate. You're actually communicating all um what is it called? We do communicate in all um manager mode. You speak to your team, you know how the team is going, you you get the idea of everything. So I'm actually skipping this. It's not like I'm going to lose. So whenever you lose this mode, you'll be given an opportunity to replay it. You must win. Yeah, you can concede a goal, but you must win. Like, you, liter you literally have to win. You have no other option. So this is me talking to the best player, which is Neymar. So we're just going to do a little cheat chat, and I guess that's actually all. So I guess that's all for now. Let's move on to SM25. This is our... So this is also Soccer Manager 25, what many of you know about it. So I've checked on the updates. I was like, is my game not updated? Why is the Football Master having the Halloween mode where I could get some other rewards and some other pretty cool cards? And here, if you could see the interface, I'm still using my auto tap, thinking we all know the reason to tap, right? So we just have to take it off. So um, let's go um, to my current this thing, my current team. I can actually create a new team for some reason and if you check the current team i'm actually at actually 2028 yeah this is actually 2028 so whereby we have many players retired and we have some other cool players so let's go to my tactics and where is my nima what? okay i think my nima is actually retired oh i sold him off i can't actually remember but i knew i was having nima in my team <clears throat> nima junior so funny enough i'm actually at the um what is it called the negotiation period so we could actually sign in and get some pretty cool players you know uh so let's look for anything else to do with biomanage i'm actually coaching biomanage right yeah i'm actually coaching biomanage um yeah i think i sort of my name 
Okay, so um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go to my club. I just want to be sure that I had Neymar. Then, right now, he's gone. He's actually one of the best players I actually used, you know. I just so much love having Neymar Jr. in my team. So, um, like I, what I told you guys earlier in the previous game that here you could actually sign any kind of player you want so let me check how much am i having okay um should i be going for mbappe who am i actually lacking behind i don't know i don't feel like signing anyone because i, I guess i'm actually cool with having everyone this way um but if you could check my reports they say we are lacking defense which i don't know um or maybe i might just go for a younger person for the defense then too many attacking players like bro what a freak Almost everyone here is actually playing midfield aside from uh, Alexandra Isak, which is actually a front forward player. Others plays midfield and strike, like Tails plays strike, Rodrigo, we all know it, Foden. So I don't know, I don't know. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, guys, um, this is the auto pick. Okay, but this is actually not playing the wing. Hell, not playing the wing. Um, don't worry let's just say so this is how we go to the next mode and if you could check if you could check yes there is a higher chance of you moving from one club to another which is actually a big stuff for managers you don't just stick to one club and feel safe at one club so if you could check okay these are just my records of signings and just higher records of stuff so it is what it is and that's my Hall of Fame. I'm actually the I'm actually ranking third right now. I don't know who is actually coaching Masti newly, but it's actually not Pep Guardiola. What a freak. That guy is actually good. He's actually the top one. He's actually the top one. He's a beast. So we all know we could actually switch to different clubs when we like to. And we have some offers for international club, which is country match. Um we don't feel like going to any country to do any freaking stuff. So it is what it is. Um we have uh okay for some reason they did not show that so let's just go straight up to our friendly match which we need um we have to play the friendly match right yeah we do uh, i'm gonna put this here and and let's save this guy maybe to play here nope what about you nope um i love you just prefer playing the striking mode okay so he was lucky enough to have this guy play here so let's just do this and let's make it this way um and i need to change the keeper and mcqueen's needs to rest we are going up against baka i might lose but it's actually a friendly match so it is what it is it's actually a friendly match so for the fact i showed you guys the gameplay the goal scoring and every other stuff for that mood I'm gonna do the same to this mode but now the only thing is i need to pay for the upgrade version you know i need to pay for the version where i could actually have eight slots of managing mode so i could stop having ads pop up in my gameplay whereas the football manager so you don't have anything that has to do with ads so well, it is what it is so i have to go to my settings and change it to 2d view i'm sorry 3d view but only highlights on the key and the speed is actually maxed out you know i can't actually wait here all day and the camera mode is actually pretty okay so let's just watch let's just watch and the reason why i don't really like playing in this mode is it wastes a lot of my time what's in what if i play a match i will have to score seven goals yo i have to keep watching reviews and replay and you know many other stuffs okay uh are we done with the first half or oh, okay i think i'm actually trying to score was that a terrible pass wait it, it actually scored me danny omo <laughs> yo that that wasn't a bad goal that was it you could see the replay is actually showing about three times compared to the other game it's showing like that of a football or fifa but it is what it is guys 
I'm actually expecting to lose this match for the reason because I don't. My players are actually tired. They're so tired. I need to sign more players. I, I guess I'm going to be signing more of defense and, you know. So, in this game, whenever you have a yellow card, please and please and please take off the player. Because he's coming back with a red card. Just take him off. He should, he should just go arrest. For the sake of Christ, how the hell did I start this two guys? So... I don't know, for some reason, McQueen's can't play this swing, but I have nothing to do about that. So I'm just going to be putting folding in this other guy here. And one thing you could actually do is click here, check on your shots, check on shots on targets, who is actually missing it. So Rodrigo and the guy actually benched. So um, Alexandra Isak hasn't shot a damn shot, so actually going back to his main position. So the reason why you check your shots is to know which players are actually unfortunate not to be able to score. Because there's some people who are gonna bombard about seven shots and not score a single goal. I just have to take him off the bench and fix him another player. So there is really nothing much to show here. Um system manager is actually complaining bitterly, bro. Am I getting another goal in my post? Yo, that was a goal, Alexander Isaac. So you see, this is why you need to work on your formation. Just work on your formation. That is a one-one right -one over there. Let's skip. Let's skip. We don't need it. We might even actually win. <laughs> with a tired team, bro. I might win with a tired team. Okay. Um. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So the game doesn't have lots in tons of mood bro you you killed him <laughs> okay the match is ended the line is drawn that's a one one that's a one one so guys this this is just a little difference about football manager mode and soccer manager 25 it's just it's just a small you know very slight like different um I don't think I'm actually lacking in much, but let's just go ahead with the transfer. Let's go ahead with the transfer. Um, Alain Drubaudi actually has explained a lot of good position in the defense. Actually, pretty cool. Um, yeah, this guy is way much cooler. <laughs> um, not bad, not bad, but for his age, it's actually pretty okay. So I'm going to be going for Rico. Rico Louise. No, I'm not. I'm not. Let me get no more transfer signing. Um, to eight, blah blah blah. And you're gonna charge me a diamond for each signing requests I'm actually making. Uh, this guy's bring seventy, so I'm gonna be bringing eight to six. So I guess actually my. Yo, they brought it today. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yo. But they can't actually afford to sign him. But let's see. Let's see. Let's proceed. This is August. Did, did they sign Louis? Louis actually not interested. Yes, sir. He's going to be interested in my... Don't worry. Don't worry. Yo, you can submit that. Uh, 56, 300. Um, they came with 61. You go with 6100 and, you know... Just, just hundred and any score. Um, now we have Newcastle. Is it because I bought a sack from them, so they have the money to bid? Yo, we'll go with eighty-seven this time. Let's say. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna be giving him seventy k for his wage. Yo. Okay, so we have. Rico in our team, so check the reports. What are we lacking? Ah, oh, come on. Then I guess I'll be going for yeah, I should go for an bar there, but no, 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 no. I need money. So, this is this is the training mode. I forgot to say, <laughs> okay.
I knew we were lacking something. So let's go to the training mode. This is the facility here. This this is their training mode right over here, training ground, which we just finished training. Um, you could check a training report, check the players that is actually green, how they are green and stuff like that. Check your reserve players, pretty important. Check your youths. Um, we have Rico in the use, we have our keeper. Uh, we have a lot of players which are actually playing for the first time in the youths. But I think I actually made them a rotational players. So it is what it is. Go to your stadium, upgrade your stadium, stadium upgrade in progress. Where am I upgrading again? I saw it just now. So we are upgrading this part of the stadium. It is what it is. So you check the youths um upgrade should we should we upgrade it now we don't have such we don't have such so the only stuff i never disturbed myself was on this scout what the freak am i doing with this scout when i could actually locate a missing loop in my team and fix the player there either way it is what it is so guys hope you enjoyed the video um don't forget to smash the subscribe button peace out